Could this be the Philips Hue SyncBox HDMI 2.1 fix we've all been waiting for? Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be setting up the Philips Hue SyncBox with a HDMI 2.1 splitter to see if we can get 4K at 120Hz with everything supported on an Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 to give the ultimate immersive gaming experience, something that's not currently fully supported with any of the current sync boxes natively as there's always some sort of limitation. So details for all the items I'll be showing in today's video in the description below including purchasing links. So I'll briefly show what's involved in setting up the Philips Hue sync box, showing you how to connect up the splitter and testing it out at 4K 120Hz to see how well it performs, highlighting any pros and cons and I'll also test the splitter with Govi's AI gaming sync box to see if it works with that too. But before I begin if you're new to the channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below. Let's begin by unboxing this all and seeing what you get in the packaging. First up is the Philips Hue bridge which is needed for all the Philips Hue devices to communicate together. In the packaging you get the bridge, some documentation, an ethernet cable and a power adapter with a DC connector. Next we have the sync box. With this you get the sync box, some documentation, a HDMI cable, a DC power cable and a power adapter. Then we have the play gradient LED strip light. With this you get the LED strip encased in a diffuser, some documentation, two corner and three straight installation clips, a control box, a DC to DC power cable and a power adapter. Then we have the gradient light tube and in this packaging you get a control box, a DC to DC power cable, a power adapter, the light tube, some documentation and an allen key with two washers. And finally onto the HDMI splitter. Inside the packaging you get some documentation, a couple of velcro straps, a power adapter and the HDMI splitter. Let's get all of this set up. I'll be installing and using this with my LG G3 OLED 65 inch TV. Start by cleaning the back of the TV with a cloth to remove any dust. Then attach the installation clips. They recommend having it between five to 10 centimeters away from the edge of your TV. Stick on the corners and the middle first. Then you can clip in the LED strip. Start from the middle and the LED has a white arrow indicating the center. You just clip it into position. And once you've attached the top row, then attach the bottom side clip so you get this attached in the correct location. Plug in the control box and stick it into position then plug in the DC power cable the other end goes into the power adapter. Onto the light tube I'll place this on my TV unit plug in the control box and then plug in the DC power cable the other end goes into the power adapter. Now we can connect up the splitter and sync box. The splitter has one HDMI input and this is where you plug in your gaming console so in this instance I'll plug in my Xbox Series X. There's two HDMI outputs the first one goes to your TV and the second one goes to the Philips Hue sync box and on there you can plug it into any of the HDMI inputs and then you just plug in the power into the splitter onto the Philips Hue sync box and we just need to plug in the power cable and the other end goes into the power adapter I won't be connecting up the HDMI output as I'll just be using the sync box to sync the lights as the input to the TV is provided by the HDMI splitter and finally we can connect up the Philips Hue bridge by plugging in the ethernet cable and the other end goes into your router then plug in the DC power. The bridge uses Zigbee technology to communicate with their lights and accessories with a longer range than Wi-Fi so you can add devices up to 25 meters away in your home and this takes into account any walls and furniture. You can add up to 50 lights and 10 accessories and it gives you the ability to control your devices when you're away from home and it also allows you to link it to your Amazon or Google voice control product. Now let's get the Philips Hue devices set up. You'll need the Hue app installed for this which is available on both Android and iOS. Start up the app App, sign up with an account and then search for the bridge once it's found you can add it by clicking the button on the bridge then we can add in the lights click search and they're automatically picked up onto the sync box first get the hue sync app installed turn on bluetooth and then it will attempt to search for the sync box once it's found press the button on the front of the sync box you can then create your entertainment area where you'd configure which lights the sync box will use and that's it you're done now before we test this out make sure on the splitter you have the slider on out put 2 set to 1080p and this will downscale the 4k 120 hertz resolution from your console for output 2 and it will downscale it to 1080p 120 hertz 
which is a resolution that the sync box can handle but output one will remain at 4k 120 hertz and this goes to the tv and ensure you set the ed id to copy now with my xbox series x on looking in resolution you can see 4k at 120 hertz is supported and then looking in tv details everything is selected so it confirms 4k at 120 hertz moving on to video modes and again everything is available and supported looking in the hue sync app set the sync mode to game and intensity to maximum then start the syncing. Let's jump in and test this out. I've got Fortnite running as this has a lot of vivid colors and fast action. And as you can see, it works perfectly at 4K 120 Hertz. Performance seems really good with no lag and it even supports VRR. Colors look bright and vibrant, expanding further onto the wall, giving a really immersive experience, helped by the light tube on the TV unit. I'd say the colors look brighter and more vibrant than both Govi's AI Gaming sync box and even Lightme's HDMI 2.1 sync box, which didn't support variable refresh rate. So really impressed with this. I've played a number of different games on both my Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, and they all work flawlessly, so really impressed. But one odd thing that I noticed on the PS5 is that when you switch between games, the picture sometimes goes black. And to resolve this, you just reselect the EDID on the HDMI splitter. But this never happened on the Xbox. So not sure why this was happening. But just to note, the sync box can only sync input signals from a HDMI port that are plugged into it. So if you had a smart TV, it won't sync with any of the built-in apps. Or if you're using the TV with an aerial plugged in, this also won't work. But you could use the streaming apps on your console to watch movies or TV shows plus there's nothing stopping you from connecting up an Amazon Fire Stick into the sync box and having a HDMI cable from the sync box to your TV and using it normally. Testing this out with Govi's AI sync box, looking at my Xbox Series X in resolution, you can see 4K at 120 hertz is supported. Then looking in TV details, everything is selected so it confirms 4K at 120 hertz. Moving on to video modes and again everything is available and supported. But when testing this out, every so often the lights would go white for a few seconds and then continue working this repeatedly kept happening so it doesn't give a very good gaming experience and the reason for this is is that it can't handle variable refresh rate so if i disabled vrr it worked perfectly which kind of surprised me as the philips hue sync box worked perfectly so there you have it, you've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone wondering how to get their Philips Hue sync box working with their gaming console running at 4K 120Hz and have everything supported including variable refresh rate. Details are in description below including purchasing links. If you have any questions on anything mentioned in today's video let me know in the comments below and for those of you who've got to the end of this video please leave a comment with HDMI 2.1 as it's nice to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.